Hi, Brie. Good morning. Good morning. Good night. <laughs> Good evening. Goodness, and I was like, Good morning. Good morning. Well, maybe for you or for Carlito, I don't know. Well, it was still for me. Oh, the baby is looking for his car. Hey, that's nice. And it was, I was like, oh, Nobody would today join today's class. And I was like, No way. And I have prepared so much fun things to do. <laughs> Carlitos, do you feel much more awake today? <laughs> yes. yes so. Yeah, you look you look different than yesterday. Yesterday you were like, I uh, want to be with my and my on my bed as soon as possible, please. Uh, the, the, today um about four or four fifteen PM. Yeah? Uh -huh. I drank a, a coffee. <laughs> oh, you drank a cup of coffee. Oh, that's good. Coffee. So that helps you. In this moment, uh, a little open my eyes. Your <laughs> eyes. Oh, my God. Carlitos, tell me, at what time do you start your shift every day? Uh, well, the, the shift is 7 p.m. 7 15 a.m. Oh, uh, okay. to, to 4 uh, about. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. Yes, but, but I, you know, I woke up every day 3 30 45 a.m. Why? Yeah, because the, the because this is me, my brother and this mama. Oh my god. Uh, like you cannot <laughs> wake up later? Yeah, no. At 3 45 a.m. Yes, uh, similar, similar Alex. Alex woke up uh, uh about well, yeah, but, 4, I, 45. but I think it's because he needs to drive to his job, right? But what yeah, about the, you? Do you have to drive to your, your no, job? No, or no, 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 no. So, in, in uh -huh. my, I so take a bus. Like, ah, you take, take a bus? Yes. Oh, that's yes, in my, in my house. Yes, in, in my house, uh, we have only one car. And, my, and of course, your wife uses it. Yeah, my wife. Yeah, uses because, her profession. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. I understand, so, yeah. But may may I ask you, how long does it take from your house to your job? Two hours, a, about two. Two hours. Yes, because the traffic jam is the problem. Ah, yeah. now I understand why you wake up really early. Yeah. So, at uh, what time did yes. you like a, a like go out from your house? At what time? Like five? Uh, uh, about 15 or, 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 or 10 minutes uh, before 5 a.m. 10 to 5? Uh -huh. That's the reason why you wake up really early. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's the reason. I, so I understand why you're like... <sighs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah, I understand. You make like an extra effort. Uh, uh, class. I, Alex yeah. Haco is similar because uh, working in this uh, similar place. Really? Place. Ah. Yeah. So you're yeah. not co-workers? No. No workers, no. Uh, no. Alex work, work in, uh, in other plants. And, he works in a different uh, plant. Plant? Yes. Ah, ah yes. okay, okay, got it, got it. Yes. Oh. In different plants and different department. Uh, but department, at the yes. same enterprise or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. Ah, now I got it. Uh -huh. So there's some enterprises about different departments and different mm -hmm. areas. Yeah, you yeah. are like an IT, right, Carlitos? Sorry? You no. work in the IT area? A technology uh, area? No, no, I my my I working in the what well, yes, and um, metals, metals. Ah, metals. Methods, uh, yes, and Alex is a quality, quality. Oh, he's a quality agent. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Oh, that's okay. Got it. Embry is like. Yeah, I am a policeman in the factory. <laughs> You're the policeman. Yes. 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 <laughs> and I was like, yes. yes. <laughs> no, but that's okay. But that means that you're doing a good job. So that's great. Excellent. So I know why you need to wake up so early. I understand. Now I understand. 
Okay. Um, so uh, I remember when I used to work, I at that time, you wake up at 3.45. I got a job that I start my shift at 4 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I know how it is. But can you imagine the, the micro bus picked me up? I remember at 1.30 a.m. Oh, okay. A.m. Yeah. <laughs> and I was the first one. Oh, my goodness. So I remember that the day before or every night, I just took a shower and all the stuff, dressed up, and then go back to sleep because I just like, whoop. I'm awake. I just listened the mic, the microphone, like uh, uh, the klaxon, right? Yeah. And then like, bye mom, I gotta go. Yeah, it will be much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, including I, I make up also just in case, <laughs> because to be honest with you, I just have to jump in from or jump out from my home on my bed and then open the door and then go. Yeah, I've arrived at 3.45 a.m. at the cafeteria, I remember. But I was I was like um, 24 years old, 26 mm -hmm. years old. Uh, no, I was a baby by then. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm still a baby, but another kind of baby. <laughs> 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 yeah, but, but not a baby, right? <laughs> well, at least I'm a baby for my husband, which, I, which really counts for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, thank you, Brie. <laughs> I'm really like, okay. <laughs> you are young. I'm John. Yes, you are John. Mm, not really. <laughs> well, <laughs> you were going to be my BFF movie. <laughs> yeah, I, I am and I'm not. I'm in the still of my 30s, I can say that. But close to my 40s. Close, but not yet. <laughs> but you know what? I don't feel like that. I'm still feel like like junk. I don't know about you guys, but um, sometimes the babies, right? The kids and the and the teenager, they say, "Sir, ma'am," and you're like, "Oh my god, I'm already look older." But uh, for them, but uh, you don't feel like that. Well, that is my case. For example, when I go to the supermarket or to the bank, the the police officer opens the door and they say, good morning, ma'am, right? Bye, ma'am. And I was like, now I am ma'am. <laughs> now I'm not a lady anymore, right? So, but but I don't feel like that. <clears throat> I feel like I'm still a junker. Maybe I have a junk spirit. That could be. I have a lot of energy. I don't know. But yes, but but now when you got sick, now you feel that, now that you're not longer a young girl anymore. So what what we can do? Nothing. Nothing. Just accept the agents. But you know what? What I feel good is that my husband is older than me. <laughs> and Bri's like she yeah. is. <laughs> Teacher is is very important uh, that you feel junk uh, because uh, uh, we is uh, don't uh, oh uh, uh, como se dice lo que la gente ve the people what the people see see you see you. Uh -huh. Uh, is is more important uh, uh, como sería, sería, when, when? Uh -huh, when when you feel exactly you know what if uh, I have um, um, my niece I already let you know that she lives in Costa Rica and she's 18 years old oh my gosh she's athletic and she does a lot of stuff she has a lot of energy but I must still have the energy to be with her you know hmm to run, uh, to ride a bicycle, to ride a horse, to swim with her. Oh my goodness, to do a lot of sports activities with her. Not right now because I'm sick, right? And I, we cannot see each other, but we do a lot of stuff with her that you cannot imagine. My sister is a little bit older than me. It's just one year and, and 20 days difference. We are like just a little bit difference. It's not too much difference. Oh, but, and she said, no, mm-mm. Ask her out. And I was like, yes, 
let's go baby I said, yeah so my husband and I were like the aunties and the uncles right so we are like how do you say that um how do you say that in the Spanish you have an expression here in El Salvador that I love ah yes todo terreno <laughs> yeah the, no, including eating and including whatever you will yeah I like to surf yeah but uh I can't I'm, surf I can't I'm not a professional surf. no I'm not a professional at all but uh I, I'm doing my best my, my niece is a professional uh, what I love to learn because I don't know how to do it is to like uh how you say that bucear I, I, scuba diving, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Scuba diving or diving, yeah. Yeah, I would love to. My, my niece knows how to do it. I would love to. I remember that once she was like uh, in diving training, right? And when they graduate, uh, most of the time when they were in training, they were like in a pool, right? In a pool with all the equipment and all the stuffs, right? Just for they to get used to how to use it and because they are, it is heavy, it is heavy. But, and then when they graduate, they went to like um, a beach near where she was living by that time. And she had like a camera that you can use under the water, right? And at the same time, that camera has a, a sound. So she, she was like, how do you say that? Like she was describing, describing how she felt when she was diving and everything that she was seeing. And you cannot imagine, I envy her by that time because she's, she was describing like she was like with Bob Esponja and, 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 and Patrick Starr. Like she was describing <laughs> everything, all the corals, all the type of fishes that she found, all the phenomenal creatures that she found under the sea. So it was amazing. It was amazing. And she also sent a video about that. So I was like, oh my God, I envy you. But you know what? <clears throat> in order for me to dive, I need to recover for this because you need to be in a good health condition to do that. Especially your lumps, yeah? Do you understand what I'm talking about, Alex? Yeah, Nelsie? Yeah, uh, Gerardito, yeah. Uh, quisiera yes. uh, bucear yes. con mi sobrina. <clears throat> Pero hasta que me recupere y tenga buena condición física, especialmente los pulmones, right? Yes. And the lungs, uh, I will be able to. When I was younger, when I was a baby girl, I used to practice a lot of uh, swimming and participate in competitions like that so i want to i want to be like that again that's my favorite sport swim okay. i love to swim when i swim i feel free <laughs> i love it i love it but right now i can't and and my doctor mm -hmm. my friend the friend that i told you yesterday that he recovered from frank uh he, he he also has been a really sportive guy during his whole life and he said, no, wait, right now, mm -mm. wait. I know that you love to swim, but no, wait, no, right now. You got to wait until this all passed. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, okay, so I, I better wait. But I you would sure? love to swim. Yeah. Mi sobrina vio, vio videos y, um, y un audio de todo lo que ella grabó cuando estaba buceando. That was amazing. Ooh, ahí se le envidié, eh? Pero ni modo, ojalá que ella me enseñe. <laughs> algún día, si viene a El Salvador, se los voy a enseñar. Algún día. Si continuamos juntos. <laughs> What's her name? Her name is Gabriela. Luisa Gabriela. But I she's call from her... Costa Rica. Well, she's Salvadorian and Costa Ricans at the same time. <laughs> because, of course, right, her mama is a Salvadorian and... Now she's uh, in Costa Rica and she already has the, the cities in there. So she has both nationalities. But she is really huge girl. You cannot imagine. She's 18, but she's like, oh my goodness, big. I will share right one time. Maybe I can share with you a photo. Ugh. 
She's huge. I used to eh, grab her and put her on my knees. Cuando estaba chiquita, I put her on my knees, play with her and all those stuff. But now it's the opposite way. Hoy ella me chinea a mí. Que no la aguanto, mucho pesa. Yeah. Yeah. She's, She's tall. She's really tall. I remember that when uh, when we arrived to my mom's house because she stayed with her, she said, hey, auntie, or also my, my husband, hey, uncle. And then he started like running just to approach to him. So he was like looking for a sofa, right? To lie down together, right? Buscando un sofá para aterrizar los dos al mismo tiempo. And then she jumped y parecía como que si fuera Supergirl. And then my husband catch her. Y los dos iban para atrás. Blacks, like that. <gasps> yeah, every time, that was every day that we arrived to my mom's house. She was not years old by then. Fue a los nueve años fue la última vez que la chingí. No anymore. <laughs> si no me derrabadillo toda ya. Ya no. Ya no way. Pero ya ha vivido conmigo desde que nació. Mm. So she's like my girl also. I didn't give her birth. Mm. No le di de no, no le di a luz, pero sí le di de comer. La bañé. Me dormí en la cunita. Le cambié los diapers. Me pinché con el polado del diaper. Hey, all of Sí. Mm -hmm. Hasta me vomito leche. Mm -hmm. So it's <laughs> so it's the same. Yes. <laughs> me dormía con ella en la cuna. What I love the most, mm -hmm. porque me gustaba mucho, when she uh, ate macaronis, como de macarrones, because she's doing like this, a los macarrones, right? Like, ah. And then she's like, eh. and then, ah. right? So can you imagine? When she finished eating, right? She was covered all over her body with macaronis, right? So <laughs> I all every time that she's going that she was supposed to eat macaronis and pasta, I told my mom, eh, well, I think we're gonna take a we're gonna give her a shower after her lunch. Because if not, she will get a shower twice, right? So no. So after her lunch. We grab her from the from the chair, from the feeding chair, la sillita donde comía, the feeding chair, and then we go to the bathroom and give her a bath. Yes, can you imagine? It was, she was chubby. She was chubby. Mm -hmm. Her arm, her legs, the cheeks. Oh, I love her. Yes, and you know what? I was thinking. Okay, she's not my girl. I'm a single lady. I want to go to sleep because I had a really hard time, a hard job, right? And my mama said, no, Gabby is sleeping. So we need to hurry up and do all the house chores before she wakes up. And I was like, that's not fair. <laughs> that's not, yeah, but I had to help my sister get taken care of her, right? So I was like, ah. But I I love this baby girl. Yeah, I love her. I used to dance with her for her to go back to sleep at 11.30 p.m. all days. So, yes. So, she's my baby. She is my baby. Aww. Yes, she is my really close baby. Yeah, we slept together. Yeah, when she's with me, we slept together. She, she said, or, or with my mama. You lay on the bed with me, and they say, oh, hey, auntie, let's go back to sleep. So we click <laughs> together. Yeah, we are like that. So, so, I understand. So, I understand. Yeah, so I uh, will. So once maybe I can share right now with you. If, let me check. I can give I can let you know something. If, if. Uh, I live in Costa Rica, or if I was in Costa Rica, definitely I will be living with them. If, but the if means a possibility, right? If, yeah. Yes. So talking about if, 
Ah. Have you ever heard it? This word, if? Yes. Yes. Have you used it? Yes. Uh -huh. Do you know what does it mean? What does it mean? Yeah. Yeah. We we use uh, for a possible situation. Exactly for a possibility. Sometimes that possibility may come true, may not. All right. If C, but no C that yes. C is like a possibility. May if your circumstances were different, right? Mm hmm. In English, guys, that's what we call conditionals. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. but we have a yeah. lot of conditionals. Zero conditional, first conditional, second, third, fourth. You cannot imagine. So don't worry. You will love the if and you will continue learning a lot of if <laughs> during your whole English process. Okay. But right now, we're going to start with the simple one. With the first conditional. If. C, right? C, 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 tal cosa pasara. Da, 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 da. For example, um, eh, let me see if I can give you a simple example. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, yes. Uh -huh. If I get up, if I get up early, uh -huh. I... I to go early to my work. Ah, uh, that's a possibility, yes. But for example, <clears throat> in this case, that conditional is something that um in in the present, the, the, the conditional has two parts. That condition part, which starts with if, and the consequence part, which will be the result if the first part happens. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, in the first, in the second part of the consequence of that conditional, we can use guys three things. We will be able to use three things or three verbs. We can use will. We can use want. Want, want of course, want the the negative of will. We can use may, and we can use might. Why I'm telling you that? Because we're talking about first conditional. We're not talking about any other conditional. So I'm, I'm just helping you with this. But first of all, for you to get used to that, I'm going to play it an audio for you. And these people, basically, what we are going to start listening, guys, it is basically um, some possible consequences of getting a high paying job. That would be nice, right? To get a high paying job. <gasps> Imagine if I have more money, what can I do? Ah, okay. So I'm going to, sometimes it's really nice, but sometimes it's not realistic, right? At least not in our, in our country. But this, um, listening activity is really is really important i want you guys to pay attention now not only uh how they express themselves but also uh the statements the statements of what they said what would be the consequences if the people had or got a high paying job and after that i'm going to ask you guys if you agree with what you heard or if you're not agree Okay, that would be really easy peasy queasy. So just a little bit more moment. One, exercise eight, perspectives. Take the good <laughs> with the bad. Mm -hmm. Part A, listen to some possible consequences of getting a high paying job. Mm -hmm. Check the statements you agree with. If you get a high paying job, you'll have more cash to spend. You'll be able to buy anything you want. You'll be able to travel first class. You might have to pay higher taxes. You'll be able to donate more to charities. More people may want to be your friend. You may get your own office. 
you won't have as much stress in your life. People will ask you for a loan. You'll have a lot more free time. Okay. Uh, do me a favor. Uh, would you like me to listen one more time? Yes. yes. Okay. And yes. I'm going to share with you guys the, um, the statements. Okay. But let me try to play it one more time. Page 61, exercise eight, perspectives. Take the good with the bad. Part A, listen to some possible consequences of getting a high paying job. Check the statements you agree with. If you get a high paying job, you'll have more cash to spend. You'll be able to buy anything you want. You'll be able to travel first class. You might have to pay higher taxes. You'll be able to donate more to charities. More people may want to be your friend. You may get your own office. You won't have as much stress in your life. People will ask you for a loan. You'll have a lot more free time. Okay. So may I ask you, are you agree? Interesting, right? Would you like yes. to see the, the statements? Okay, let me double check right now and share with you the statements. So you will be able to see what we're talking about. Let's double check here. Let me open it really quickly. There you go. Okay, guys, so this is the statement. This is what you have heard. This, let me open a little bit. Let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Much better like that way, right? Okay. So guys, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten consequences. Guys, this the first part, this one, this one is the condition. Okay. This is the condition part. And these guys are the consequences. Okay, the consequences. So may I ask you uh, 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 um, about what you have heard? Or what you um yes, what you have heard about it. Are you agree with what you heard? For example, guys, if you get a high paying job, you'll have more cash to spend. Are you agree with that or no? Yes, yes, I agree. Yeah? yeah, okay. But let me ask you, um which ones of these consequences do you think um are like uh, advantages? of having a high paying job. You know what advantage is? Advantage Ventaja. or ventajas. Uh -huh. Y cuáles son desventajas, disadvantages? For example, the first one, do you think it's of an advantage to have a high paying job to get, uh, to have more cash to spend? Creen que es una ventaja o es an advantage? Advantage or disadvantage, what do you think? Advantage. Advantage, okay. Advantage. What about the second one? You'll be able to buy anything you want. Is that advantage? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about the third one? You'll be able to travel first class. Advantage. Advantage. Who can help me read the first one? Go ahead. Thank you, Alex. Can you help me read it? You might have... Okay. Alex. No advantage. No, Alex. I want to hear Alex. Okay. You might. Oh, I, I, I don't see. You don't see. Would you like me to make it's, it bigger? What about now? No, it's, it's a. It's a. Mm, okay. What about uh, now? Yeah. Okay. You might. You might have to pay hated taxes. What, is hated it, taxes. Is it advantage or disadvantage? Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Uh -huh. Disadvantage, definitely. What about the next one? Uh, continue reading, please, Alex. You'll be able to donate. To donate. donate. To donate. Okay. Do, do not You'll be what? able to donate more 
to charities. To charities. charities, yeah. What do you think is charities. advantage of this advantage? Advantage. Advantage. Good. Advantage. Continue reading, please. <laughs> <laughs> More people may want to be your friends. Is that advantage or disadvantage? <laughs> disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, because maybe they're not true friends, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. continue. Go ahead. You may get your own office. Our own office. Advantage. Is advantage or disadvantage? Advantage. 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 What about the next one? Continue reading. You won't have us. You, you won't. You won't what? Perdió. <laughs> Perdió. You, you, you won't have so much stress in your life. Uh huh. Is that advantage or disadvantage? Disadvantage. Uh -huh. Continue, Disab please. People will ask you for a loan. Uh huh. Is that advantage or disadvantage? Disadvantage. Disadvantage. And the last one? You'll have a lot more free time. Very good. Is that advantage or disadvantage? Advantage. Advantage. Very good. Very good. Hey, guys, is there's new vocabulary here that you don't know what does it mean? Yes, loan. I, I already told you the last yesterday. What is What was loan? Yes. What is loan? Prestamo. Exactly. Ya ven que si ya pueden. Very good. So let's practice, guys. Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, Alex. I'm listening to you. Sí, no, este, lo deducimos. Ay, lo deducimos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's let's practice right now the pronunciation, okay? Let's practice the yeah. pronunciation of the consequences. Repeat after me. Yo. 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 Okay. You have more cash to spend. You'll be able to buy anything you want. You'll be able to buy anything you want. You'll be able to travel first class. You'll be able to travel first class. Very good. You might have to pay higher taxes. You, you might, might have, 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 have mm -hmm. You'll be able to donate more to charities. You'll be, be able to donate more to charities. Mm -hmm. More people may want to be your friend. More, more people, people may want to be want to your friend. Be your friend. You may get your own office. You may you get, get, get your own office. office. Very good. You won't have as much stress in your life. You won't you have, have, have as, as much, much stress, stress in your, your life. Your life. Mm -hmm. People will ask you for a loan. People will, will ask you for a loan. For a loan. Mm -hmm. You'll have a lot of more time free. No, you'll have a lot more you. free time. <laughs> You will have a lot of time. Lot of time. Very good. Guys, oh, good job. Congratulations. Oh, you're inspired today. Oof. I don't know why, but that's good. Guys, take a look. Uh, I want you guys to take a look at the consequences, which in this case is all this part, okay? You, you see, guys, that on the consequences, we are talking on the first conditional, that is the one that we're checking right now. Do you see that we are using future verbs? You, you see? Yeah. You, you yeah, is you. a contraction of what? The will. The will. The will. will. Exactly. Then we also are using another one. My. Mine. Hmm? Mine. Mm -hmm. And also we're using another one. May. 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 Every time, if you see, guys, all the sentences are related to future consequences. If this, if this situation happens, this is the condition, this will be the consequences, right? The ones that we're double checking right now. So yes. let's double check something else. But you see that we also can use the negative way of will. In this case, it's what? won't. 
Want. Want. Uh -huh. Want. And, and if you if you take a look, guys, this is a future sentence, but it's not telling you something negative. It's telling you something positive. For example, you said if you get a high paying yes. job, you won't have as much stress. You see? So in this case, we'll be able to use the negative of will, but to project something positive, not something negative. Okay, very good. So what I'm uh, focusing you on that, because it's really interesting. Also guys, you can use the first condition to talk about things that you would like to change in your life. Take a look at this. <clears throat> you see, we're talking about the first condition here. There you go. Let me raise this one really quickly in order to not to get confused. There you go. So guys, Take, I want you guys to do me a favor first of all and just focus your eyes on the first part. On this one. And this one. The possible situation. I want you guys to take a look. We have if, right? If as a condition. This is the, this is the word that uh, makes us understand and also uh, makes our listener prepare that we're going to talk about a possible situation, right? If, if you want to talk about possible situation, you got to use if. But then guys, you can take a look that we have the subject, but do you see that we have a verb here? Get, have, came by, and don't save. Do you notice that? It's in present. It's in present, exactly. Right now, the first conditional, guys, conditional primero, or el primer condicional is in present. See? Hay un montón. Primero, segundo, tercero, híjole, para qué les digo. Pero what we're focusing right now, lo que estamos enfocándonos ahorita, es en el first condition. Entonces, en este conditional, vamos a hablar de possible situations y en la parte de la possible situation, el verbo principal que sería get, have, came by, and don't have, is going to be in present. See? All the time. That's why it is in bold color. Por eso es que está en negrita. ¿Me entiende? ¿Sí? Y, y vean que después va una coma. ¿Ya? Esto quiero que lo vean siempre. If you're going, when, when you're going to separate guys, la condición, la condición, para entre la condición y la consecuencia before saying the consequence, que sería la parte ya de derecha, you gotta put the coma. ¿sí? Si usted no pone coma, that's wrong. ¿Sí? Porque no se, no, no se siente donde termina la idea. You understand? Yes. 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 Muy bien. Who can help me read it the first, the second one? Uh, Nelsie, can you please help me read this one? If you have more cash to spend. If you have more cash to spend, you will be able to buy, uh, I can see completely. To buy, invent, inventatelo. Oh, okay. If, if you have more cash to spend, you will be able to buy uh, a lot of clothes. <laughs> uh -huh. Muy bien, excellent. Pero veas que ahorita Nelsie se lo acaba de inventar. Pero quiero que vean algo para que vean qué onda. Ahorita estamos bien con el conditional, al menos la primera parte. ¿Es eso okay? Yes, yes, yes. Ok, cool. Yes. Vale. Ya le voy a poner todo de un solo y ya van a ver por qué se lo voy a poner así. Then, guys, let's go back here. Vamos a quitar esto, but don't make interruption. There you go. Okay. As we were explaining, guys, como les estábamos explicando, the consequence va a usar el will. Si usted usa will, va a usar el, el have. Mire, va a usar otro verbo. ¿Por qué? Porque el will va a ser aquí como un auxiliar. Auxiliary. Yeah? Will have more cash to spend. Tendrá más plata para gastar. Will be able to buy. Podrá comprar. Y Mire, won't es la negativo de, de will. También va a usar otro verbo. Y también con may va a utilizar otro verbo. Si ustedes se fijan en las consecuencias, 
usted va a poder utilizar will, puede utilizar may, puede utilizar won't, pero ven que hacen las funciones como auxiliares. ¿Se fijan? Sí. ¿Miren? Mm -hmm. ¿Se fijan? Yes. Entonces, siempre después de ellos, ya sea que use will in form affirmative o negative, or may or might, usted va por ende, you will need to have another verb immediately next to it. Inmediatamente después de eso, ¿sí? Para que tenga idea lógica. De lo contrario, no va. Pero si ustedes se fijan, quiero que se fijen en algo bien interesante. Vamos a ver si lo puedo... Eh, sí, lo voy a hacer más grande. Voy a dejar de compartirlo ahorita y lo voy a poner en algo más grande porque quiero, quiero que se fijen que the possible situation con las consequences no son como ideas aisladas, sino que va como una snake, como una, how do you say that in Spanish? Como una culebra. Por ejemplo, si pasa eso, hago esto, ¿sí? La, si tú te fijas, la primera parte, uh, por ejemplo, if I have a higher payer job, I will have more money to spend, ¿sí? Pero después, la, la consecuencia de la primera parte de la possible situation se puede volver la possible situation de la segunda idea. No sé si me mm. cachas. ¿Me cachas? No. Como que si fuera una snake, un snake de ideas. Ya vas a ver de lo que I'm, I'm talking about. Es como darle continuación. A las ideas. Sea. Correcto. Exactamente. De exactamente. You're right about that. Ya vas a ver. Ya vas a ver cómo estamos ahí. But I'm going to try to make it a little bit bigger. There you go. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Y yo tiene un montón de cosas así. Tengo un puño de cosas aquí. Eso es lo que vimos ayer. Aquí está, mira los conditionals. El possible situation, que es la parte del if, y la consequence, que es lo que estamos viendo. El first condition es lo que estamos viendo, chicos, y es to talk about possibilities in the present or in the future. Y ahí está la estructura, mira. If, más sujeto, más verbo en simple present, main verb. Muy bien. Y Obviamente, la, la estructura de la, de la main clause, que sería la consecuencia, es subject plus will plus verb. O puede ser won't, o puede ser may, o puede ser might. Ajá. Y aquí hay ejemplos chiquitos. Este es el que quiero que veamos ya. Vean una cosa. Vamos a ver, este va a ser. Vean. Eso es lo que estamos viendo ahorita, ¿ok? Mira la primera possible situation. If you get a high and paying job, si tienes una, un empleo muy bien pagado, you won't have to work hard, ¿sí? ¿Ves que esta es la consecuencia de la primera? ¿Sí es cierto? No. No, espérate, ¿cómo no? Mira, mira. Si tú, si tú tienes un, un, un trabajo bien pagado, no vas a tener que trabajar. Eh, duro. Muy, muy, duro. muy duro ahora muy... esa idea lo puedo también usar para seguir Ay, hablando de eso Mire, y entonces viene esta idea de consecuencia de la primera y se vuelve la possible situation de la segunda idea mira if you don't oh. have to work hard you will have a lot more free time mira ves cómo va yes mira ahí va ¿ve? y entonces también esta consecuencia la puedo usar como idea de la siguiente possible situation. If you have a lot more free time, you might get bored. ¿Sí? And if you... Se hace como bored, un hilo de... Como ex, un hilo de... De, de, de consecuencias. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You may have to look for another job. Mira qué interesante. Si lo pudiéramos decir en español, de, diríamos así. Si tú tienes un trabajo bien pagado, no vas a tener que trabajar tan duro. Si no trabajas uh -huh. tan duro, vas a tener más tiempo libre. Si tenés más tiempo libre, probablemente te aburrirías. Y si te aburrirías, o pues si te aburres, tenés que usar... Eh, Tienes bueno, que buscar otro trabajo. trabajo. Uh -huh. ¿Ven, cómo, ¿Ven cómo van las cosas? ¿Ven cómo va? Yes. 
va entonces sí. lo que es que, interesting right entonces lo que yo quiero que vean lo que yo quiero que tengan acá es que si yo quiero hablar de una possible situation va a ser el if por favor y esa ahí es capital porque está empezando una oración Consta, estamos sí. hablando de first conditional no estoy hablando de otro tipo de conditional Ahorita solo estamos learning first conditional. Nada más. Hay más. Pero ahorita I want to focus on this one porque es el más sencillo. Entonces, very good. Y acuérdense que es en present. ¿sí? El first conditional es en present. Entonces usted va a usar el presente. ¿sí? Después de que termina la idea del conditional, hace una coma, ocupa el you o el he o lo que usted quiera, con el will y otro verbo. ¿Sí? ¿Se acuerda? O el want y otro verbo. El may y otro verbo. O el might y otro verbo. Y termina la idea. Entonces, cuando usted ya tiene esa idea clara, le voy a, hacer, le voy a poner ahorita un reto. Sí. Fíjense qué interesante. Porque como estamos viendo que como que tienen un, un, un hilo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Un hilo de, 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 de pensamiento, un hilo de, de idea, ¿verdad? Porque si te pasa esto, vas con esto. Si te pasa esto, con esto. Y así vas. ¿verdad? Entonces, I'm going to make groups right now. Vamos a jugar algo. <coughs> eh, um, quiero ver. Les voy, a, les voy a poner un... Vamos a hacer algo. Voy a hacer dos grupos. Son, son, do, son 11 ahorita, ¿verdad? 11. Sí, ok. Estamos Miguelito, Jesse, Dina, Carlitos, Nelsie, B, Linda, Gerardito... Quiero ver. Hola, Miguelito. Alex, Nelsie, very good. Menos yo. Entonces, yo tengo preparado, chicos, un Scrabble de Conditional ahorita. O sea, un desorden ahorita. Y lo, lo, lo voy a compartir en mi pantalla para que les voy a explicar de qué se trata. Pero se lo voy a mandar. No se preocupe. Don't get panic. A ver. Vamos a ver. Compartir mi pantallita ahorita. Can you see it, guys? ¿O quieren que lo haga más grandecito? Más yes. grande, ¿verdad? Grande. Más grande sí. para los que todavía les falta. ¡Qué bárbaro! Imagínense <risa> que todavía estoy joven. I am a younger boy. I'm a younger boy. <risa> Vaya, miren. Ya van a ver. Vaya. Aquí está. Lo ven. ¿Ya? Yes. Okay. Okay, yeah. guys. This is what I want you to do. But si ustedes se fijan, from one to five, de la una a la cinco son los conditionals, ¿sí? If. Y de la A a la D son las consecuencias, ¿sí? Okay. ¿Qué quiero que hagan? Yeah. Quiero que pongan todas esas ideas en orden. Así como lo que acabamos de ver. Por ejemplo, si tengo un trabajo duro, o trabajo bien pagado, no tengo que trabajar tan duro. Si no tengo que trabajar tan duro, entonces tengo más tiempo libre. Y así, ¿me entienden? Pero quiero que yeah. se fijen bien, porque, porque una puede sonar así como que, ah, esta es, pero no necesariamente. O sea, que yo quiero que combinen los números con las letras para que ustedes hagan así como lo que acabamos de hacer. Ok. ¿Sí? Pero, pero con... Yeah. Con, con, con este tipo, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Vamos a... Solo vamos a leerlo juntos para que tengan la idea. Ok. Vaya. El, por ejemplo, la primera condición dice eh, If you study very hard. La segunda condición, if you get a good job. La tercera, if you get into a good school. La cuarta, if you improve your grades. If you make a lot of money. Vaya. Esas son las conditions. Están en desorden. Tienen que, cada condition, guys, tiene que ir con una, con una consecuencia, ¿sí? ¿Me entienden? Eh, you will improve your grades, no, letter A. B, you may get a good job, letter C, you'll get into a good school. And letter D, you may have more stress. ¿Sí? Entonces, quiero que piensen bien. Le voy a dar solamente dos minutos para hacer este ejercicio. A ver qué grupo lo recibe. Somos 12. Ajá. Voy a hacer, vaya, ya vamos a, ¿saben qué? Voy a hacer un solo grupo, solo porque soy buena onda. Pero la teacher no va a estar ahí. Vamos a ver, ya lo voy a hacer. 
Vaya, pues le puede hacer dos grupos. Pa. No. ¿Qué manera? Yeah. Da grupo, man. Da grupo. De seis y cinco. Vamos a ver. Vaya. Accept the invitation, please, guys. Dele. Ya les voy a compartir la, la, la información que estábamos viendo. If you study very hard. Yes. Okay. Number one. If you study very hard. Study very hard. Um, letter C. Yeah. Letter C. You 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 get into a good school. Okay. Yes. Number two. two. If Number you get a two. good job. If you get a job. Um, no, no, the, um, we need, we need form a snake and, and next is one, it, the, is uh, it... letter C for me is uh, number three. Is it number three um, if you get into a good school? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh, that makes you think, right? <laughs> yes. Uh-huh, make you think, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why it's really interesting. <laughs> Did you finish or would you like to have more time? I, I don't finish um, yet. No, you have to do it in group, right? Together, together. Okay. I will give you okay. one more minute. Let me double check the yeah. other group, okay? Okay, Thank okay. You. you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. I think before no, how number, is it, three, number three. Number how is three. it going? Did you finish already or not no, yet? Number three. If you get into a good school. If you, you get into a mm. good school, number three. Number three. Mm -hmm. With uh, oh, you Better right. be. Better be. Uh, you may get a good job. A uh, good job, mm -hmm. yes. If uh -huh. you can make it. Uh, the, you the, make the, a good the, job. Number two. If you get a good job. Little or D, ah, yeah. you may have more stress. Uh -huh. yeah. Are you yeah. agree with Miguelito, Linda, and Jesse? Yeah. You agree with Mr. Surhan and Carlita Antonio? Did you finish? Finish. Yeah. yeah. Easy, hey, easy peasy queasy. Remember Sirhan, that it was a snake, right? Yeah. Could you could you uh, could you? Uh, yes, <laughs> please could you read the, the, the answer, please? No, yeah. no yet. I'm no, going, I don't yeah. write a teacher. No, I'm going. I'm going to give the answer together. Uh -huh. Together. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Uh -huh. Preferencias. ¿Cuáles? <laughs> Ay, Carlitos. <laughs> no, All no, right. No. Okay, let's go back. Okay, let's go back together. Aha! Okay. Uh -huh. How was the experience, guys? Was it good? Uh -huh. It's a good experience. It's a good, that makes you think, right? That makes you think. Yeah. So you see, and, and that, guys, when you are learning to do that, you will be able also to learn to speak more fluent, not to cut your ideas, which is what we're looking for. Okay, guys, so volunteer. I want one volunteer from each group to let us know what the answers might be. Volunteer. Please. Yeah, Please. Alex. Would you like to no, start with your group? No. <laughs> no. This, this, no, I'm going to the Indian. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh, what you happened, Alex? <laughs> okay. 
Es, es que no tomé nota. No, no, that's okay, but you're about to tell us something. What happened, Alex? Okay, the first is, if you study very hard, uh -huh. continue with um, number, uh, letter C. No, do, okay. no, don't tell me letter C, letter A, no. Give me the whole oh. idea. Dame toda la idea. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you just... If you study very hard, um, uh -huh. you you'll get into a good school. Uh -huh. um, if you get it into a good school, uh -huh. um, Bree, help me. Uh -huh, Bree, help me, please. A letter A. No, no me digas letter A ni nada. Solo dime uh, todas las ideas. You improve your grades. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you improve your grades, you may get a good job. Uh -huh. If you get a good job, you may have more stress. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Seguro que no les faltó uh -huh. ninguna. The, the last one. Letter C. Ajá, uh -huh, ¿verdad? Es que no quiero que falte ninguna idea. If oh you make a lot of... Uh, Porque, sí, ni un, porque ni una les puede faltar. But that's okay, that's okay. Don't worry. Good try. Muy bien, lo felicito. That's really good, really good. Pero les faltó una idea, ¿verdad? Ajá. Only that. Yes. Only that, but that's okay. That's okay, don't worry. Good job, guys, good job. Okay, now the opposite group. Gerardo, Mr. Carlitos, Nelsie, Jesse, who wants to participate? Who wants to be the representative for the second group? Hey, Gerald. Okay. Nelsie. Yeah. yeah. Woman spirit. Good. Go ahead, girl. <laughs> uh, if you study very hard, mm -hmm. you will improve your grades. Mm -hmm. And if you improve your grades, mm -hmm. um, you'll get into a good school. Uh -huh. If you get into a good school, and you may get a good job. Uh -huh. If you get a good job, you may have more stress. Ay, you were uh -huh. almost perfect, almost perfect. But nice. but also, guys, you were oh, guys. you were missing one idea as well. So let's phone it there. Yeah. yeah. Hey, okay. Would you like us to see the answer? See, can I the answer? I yeah, uh, to you know, both of you like but like oh my god and I was like yeah this is a, okay let me, share, money. let me share right now ah, my, yeah. uh, let yes, me share my see. idea with you yes. <laughs> but that's okay guys good job okay are you okay you see that's yes. the answer if you study very hard, you will improve your grades. If you improve your grades, you will get a good school. If you get into a good school, you might get a good job. If you get a good job, you'll make a lot of money. And if you make a lot of money, you may have more stress. Oh, right. Good, right? Yeah, very good job to you. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Good job, guys. Pero ven que chivo es. It's really interesting, right? And, you, and that will help you guys to talk about anything. For example, if you get in love, if you go to the gym, right? Or what else? Uh, and there's a lot of things that you can talk about. Uh, if you get a part-time job, if you move to a foreign country, if you study very hard, ooh, there's a lot of things involved here. So guys, do you like it? The first yes. conditional? I yes. like it. It's yes. interesting. You see, yes. why... you go to sleep. <laughs> and if if you if you finish your English class on time, ah, you will be able to go to sleep. Hey, let's do something. Let's practice together. Vamos a practicar algo, okay? Alguien va a empezar a decir first the first conditional, y va, alguien otro va a seguir con la consequence, y el otro va a aprender con la primera con la la segunda la segunda condition. Basada en la condición, a la primera secuencia de la primera línea, ¿me entienden lo que estoy talking about? Yo trato de explicarme yep. en español, pero sometimes I messed up. 
<laughs> sí, a veces como que la riego en español. That's why I prefer to speak English. <laughs> Because to be honest with you, it's really complicated for me in Spanish. Okay, so um, let's start something. <clears throat> If you study English with Inglés Corporativo, Sirhan. Uh, I, I mind. I may, I like I may <laughs> speak, speak English. Aha, Carlitos. If, oh, I, if, I, if I make you speak English? If I'm, if my, sorry. I'm, if I may speak English? If make speak English. Aha, uh -huh, that's what Gerardo said. I start with the idea. If you study English with English corporativo, Gerardo said. What was your answer, Gerardo? I may speak English. Mm -hmm. I may speak English. Mm -hmm. So continue with the idea. I may speak English. I, I will uh, to travel to the United States. Aha. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> Nuvi, and if I travel to the United States, go ahead. Please repeat. I'm, I will travel to the United States. That's what Carlito said. Carlito dijo que iba a trabajar, iba a viajar a los Estados Unidos. So, continue with the idea. If I, if I strip to the United States, um, I'll, um, I'll have a, 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 mejor, a, a better, a better job. A better job, ajá. Uh -huh. And if I have a better job, Alex? Um, I might um, just say more money. Uh -huh. you, say, you will be able to say more money. Brie, and if I will, and if I'm able to say more money? I, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> Si tengo la capacidad de guardar más plata, yo, I will what? I will, I will go to travel. Ya, ya vení, no, si, si ya vení de Estados Unidos, no, hombre, no, inventarte otro. Uh, <laughs> I will travel I'm... all in the United States to eat all the... <laughs> Ah, no, What's tampoco, tampoco, tampoco. <laughs> I will buy a huge popcorn machine, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. I'll buy a, a restaurant. You buy a restaurant. Nancy, and if you buy a restaurant? Yeah. Uh -huh. Repeat. Uh -huh. Repeat, please. I'll buy a restaurant, she said. If I buy a restaurant? Uh -huh. Yes. If I if I buy a restaurant, um, I can I will get a new job. Uh, you will you will get a new job or you will have your own job. Ah yes, I I I will get a new, my own job. Okay, very good, Dinita. And if I get my own job, if you I get own job, I have more. Free time. Very good. And if you have more free time, Miguelito? Uh, I have, uh, I might have a ticket for Disneylandia. Otra vez te vas para Boy. Estados Unidos. No, hombre. Pensa en otra cosa. Si tengo más uh, tiempo libre, ya estás aquí, am, ya tienes tu propio negocio y todo. Pensa en algo más. I am traveling in crucero. Yo pensaba que iba a decir, yo voy a continuar estudiando otro idioma o algo así. No, teacher. Ok. All right. You will, you, uh, you will have more time to go on vacation. Ajá. Uh -huh. And if yes. you have more time to go on vacation, B. B. Durán. I can uh, learn more culture. Very good. And finally, Jesse, if you learn more culture. I think Jesse falls asleep, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at Carlitos Antonio, the 
Uh, what? Sweater. Oh, uh, yeah, is, yeah, look that at is, this. That is Rabanito, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Eric. <Qué cosa. laughs> yeah, I like it. So I think Jesse finished, okay? And if yeah. I had, I learned another culture, maybe I will be able to fall asleep more, right? I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so you see how it works? It's interesting, right? But, but it's really hard to think, ¿verdad? Yeah. Llevar el hilo. And it's yeah. really hard. That's why we're doing those kind of activities. Okay, guys. So let me ask, let me let you know if all my students are so smart and participating class, I will be able to finish my English class on time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's really Aww. nice. Yeah. So what you know what? Aww. And that's what happened. So I'm really sorry. About finish that. The yeah, finish. Yeah, so you can go back to sleep with Lucky. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Hugs and kisses. Have a blessed night. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 bye.